Hey, Brent McMahon here. Gonna give you a little advice on bike maintenance. This is something you should do every week. So, quick little clean up and get going. So I've been riding for about 500 and something K this last week. Been putting off doing the quick weekly tune, but this is how I tune up my bike, just make sure it keeps running at least once a week, keeping the chain clean, keeping the bike clean, making sure everything works. Having a good stand always makes things easier. Feedback Sports makes a quick, easy mounting stand, height adjust. It's got a quick release, so it's awesome to use. Put it when it put it high so you can stand, or you can put it low so you can sit down. So if you're really tired, I got a stool. You can do all the work sitting down. So I like using any kind of degreaser, cleaner, or even Windex works uh, for just cleaning up the bike. You know, doesn't make it go any faster, but it looks cleaner once the dirt and grime adds up then it can wear on things so I quickly clean the frame to start and then we get to the important stuff. Light coat on everything, let it soak in a bit and just a quick rub down. Matte black paint, super cool looking, but it does show dirt and grease and grime and sweat and all that stuff a little bit more. So you get style points, but then you gotta keep it clean. If you get little spots of grease on a matte finish, good way to get it off is a little bit of WD-40. And just so everybody knows, WD-40 is a cleaner. It's not a lube. So you can use it to clean off your chain, you can use it to clean off grease, but it's not a lube. You wipe everything off, you get all the WD-40 off, and then you oil your chain. Nice when you got everything handy. Makes the weekly work a little bit easier when everything's just right there. It'll be 40. Gives everything a nice little shine, but then it'll dry up and disappear. That work in gloss as well? Yeah, gloss frames, it'll actually bring a nice little shine to the frame. But you can also use like a car paint wax, um, anything on a gloss frame to make it uh, shine up nice. So, lots of options for cleaning your frame, whatever you find works and that you like. There you go. That's pretty. Yeah. So I'm just giving her another quick wipe down so we don't have 
WD-40 all over. All right, frame clean. Now the most important part is chain maintenance. You clean the chain off before you put more oil on. Don't just keep adding more oil. That just makes it worse. There's road grit and grime and sand. That's what wear your, wears your chain out. So you gotta clean that off. So you can either put WD-40 on or you can add some oil to a rag or add a little bit of oil to your chain and then go through and clean it off. If your chain's really gunked up, that's when using WD-40 is a good idea because that'll just cut all the grime and the grease and the road stuff off and you can get down to like a fresh brand new chain and then, then add the oil. So if it's still not coming clean, then sometimes you need to go a bit more. And more WD-40. Once you've cleaned it with the WD-40, then you want to wipe off as much of the WD-40 as possible. It will evaporate, so rubbing it off with the cloth, then you can apply the oil. So now, it's more or less clean. So it's ready for fresh oil. Choose your oil of preference. I like a heavier oil. We get a lot of rain around Victoria, so heavier oil hangs around a little bit more, but key is put lots of oil on. Only needs to go on this side because that's what's touching the rings and the cogs and the pulley wheels. Now, the important part, you wipe off all of that oil. As you're wiping it off, it's pushing it into the pivots, and that's where you need the lube. You don't need it sitting on the surface of the chain or sitting on the side of the chain. That doesn't do you any good. You need it down inside there. So you just press all that oil that you applied. You press it in with the, the cloth. And that's what gets your chain working properly and quickly. And again, it should come up pretty clean. Shouldn't have gross mess all over your fingers. So, it's ready to go. You can always give your chain rings a quick little clean. Check the brakes. Make sure your rotors aren't rubbing. There you go. Brakes work. Shifting. Synchro shift at work there automatically shifts up and down into the small ring. You don't even have to think about it. See how quiet that is? There you go. Cleaned and ready for another 500 and some kilometer a week. For more on how I do things on my road to Ironman, go to my Instagram or my website.